Attack of the Goblins, Chapter and 2. And so our young and bold wizards set forth on their quest, guiding them through the perils of the world of us the dashing, handsome blood, who is by no means a vampire. As they approached Fawnskogger Forest, it became clear that there was evil afoot. Also, most of the loading screens do involve a sausage in some way. And here's another Star Wars reference. This looks like the work of goblins. Uncle Owen? Aunt Baru? Goblins did anything this big before. We must be cautious. Where's village on your way to Havinger? The peasants aren't very friendly, but try to be nice to them. Control, they're the ones that feed us. Uh, dude, you're the only one who eats the peasants. Damn vampires, I mean, vampires. Oh, one fun thing about shields that I haven't talked about yet. You can reflect beams off of them. Also, yeah, Vlad's completely invincible. That would be annoying. He himself is rather annoying. Lightning and fire! I am a wizard. You are goblins. Yeah, stand there and scream all you want at me. It ain't gonna do you any fucking good. Also, I can cause flaming earthquakes. Because I am a wizard. See, you can actually use a lot of... A lot of the magics you can use in this game are pretty good, like... Conf Oop. S... E... A? A confusion there? That'll turn somebody... turn at least one enemy against its teammates. This one is an interesting one, because rain has one major use, but first off you need to be immune to water, like I am now. Q, Q, F... Cast rain... Now everything gets wet, except for me. Which means... Lightning is suddenly very effective. Whereas fire, not so much. Also, yeah, being doing this means I'm immune to being wet at all. Go away, I'm not dressed properly. Define properly. Let's just go ahead and speed up. Hey. Eh. Why are you here? Everyone knows that wizards don't think the trouble. Other foul creatures are never far behind. Hey, I didn't. Guy in Graham's workshop told me that in the distant north there is only war. That's not true. There's a lot of other references to stuff as well. Welcome to Vital Torp. Vital Torp. Goblins really love shiny stuff. It's a good thing I decided to be poor. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. I'm not gonna talk to the rest of y'all because y'all got nothing worthwhile. I gotta see Graham's workshop. The font should tell you what this is a reference to as well. I think all to get. Also, the weapon on the anvil. Which I'm gonna pick up in just a moment because I really don't. Run to the hills. That is a goblin bomber. Being a bomber, fire is his natural enemy.
Take the Warhammer. Yes, this is effectively Galmaraz. There we go. You can actually imbue your weapon with fire magic, or any magic, really. Is this fish? This is obviously a red herring. Like I said, Paradox, they know their audience, so they put in a lot of good jokes. Oh, crap. They also put in some really not-so-great ones. If you die, I will hate you. If you die, nobody gives a shit. From what I remember, I've actually studied Swedish a little bit. From what I remember, though, Fornskoger just means forest, so this is forest, forest. Anybody in the comments... Anybody in the comments that's want, that wants to correct me on that? Because my Swedish is very, very rusty and I never finished my lessons on it. That is a cave... That is a forest troll. My forest hammer. Is that my wife? That's a moose. That is quite clearly a moose being eaten by a cave, by a forest troll. Oh wait, no, it's just a dead moose. Those trolls are really scary. They're usually not aggressive, though. Yeah. Time to change that. Oh, wait. No, it should. Okay. Can I go in your house? Nope. I'm not going to kill innocent people. I'm going to be a good wizard. King of the forest. Another checkpoint. E. F. E A. Kill each other. Lightning is not the most precise weapon in my arsenal. Goblin Hood. Also, another trick. Get off my head. One way around that is if you set yourself on fire, goblins cannot grab onto you. Mostly because who wants to grab somebody that's on fire? So, I know there's a secret in the forest, I don't remember exactly where it is. Hey, listener. Leave we should look for ways to complete this level. Actually, I was right, this is the this is the secret I was thinking of. Because we go from having I'm going to go from having Galmaraz. This should be a refer this is a reference that for anybody that catches it, but it's just a lot of gibberish. Sword of Ma Sword of the Masters, which, by the way, as long as you have full health, will shoot out beams. So 
Yes, I just traded Galmaraz, the Warhammer of Warhammer, for the Master Sword. Because this game is just chock full of references, and I love it. For you, and for you. And hey, why not you? Because I'm feeling generous. Death for everybody. Except for me. Or the deep forest, but know that somewhere within looks to. If you're wondering, Jormungandr is the name of the Midgard serpent, or the world serpent in Norse mythology. There's a lot of Norse myths in this. Intruders! Blast them! Yeah, that just did less damage than just swinging the sword on its own. Now we come to our first fight against something a little more dangerous. If you're not sure what Kalima is a reference to, that is a direct reference to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Hey, let me draw you off, Goblin. And by that I mean, I'm gonna set you on fire. Yeah, you can also do that. Also, different levels will... I could kill this guy at any time I want. Case in point. Staff of, Rod of Emergency Teleport, which means it's completely random where you end up. But. Could also trade the Sword of the Masters for the Goblin Dirk. High quality Goblin Dirk, but keep the Sword of the Masters because it's the fucking Master Sword. Also, in case you're wondering, nah, I don't do family-friendly stuff. I don't in, I don't go out of my way to... I don't go out of my way to do, uh... to be offensive. 
but I'm also not going to go out of my way to be family friendly. Oh, I didn't even notice. Another way to stop troll regeneration is just do massive amounts of damage. Like 8,000. Something to fire. Just walk right through that. Because you can. This is a fridge. Which gets you. Frost Staff, which. Cold Immunity Aura. That's what. But I'm going to stick with the Staff of the White Wizard again. I'm just showing you guys where to find secrets that I know about. <coughs> By the way, if you haven't figured. If I. The. You know what? Let's just make a wall of flames for you guys to get through, shall we? Also, yeah. Can do rock armor, which means I've got increased physical defense, but I'm also a lot slower. Also, it does make you immune to... That's another way to make yourself immune to goblin hugs. It's also why haste is such a big deal for me in this game. You know what, though? I'm going to get rid of my armor. This is where we get into some serious trouble, though, because this boss fight is a bit of a pain for one player. Oh, Jormungandr's not dead. He was asleep. I blame you, Vlad. Lichtigvil is his is kind of his... is actually kind of Vlad's catchphrase, if you will. Oops. I just want my sword and staff back. And that's a dead world serpent. And that is the end of level two.